back. I enjoy uh, horror video games, especially when they are a little campy, a little funny. Apparently this one is like, uh, it takes place in ancient Babylon, uh, perhaps. We played the first two. We played Man of Medan, we played Little Hope. I had a fun time playing both of them, regardless of their overall objective quality. House of Ashes is the new one. It just came out. Apparently, it's kind of good. Let's start it up. I mean, let's play on challenging, man. They're all quick time events. Let's play on challenging. I can make it. I will play with the controller via the A button. Until Dawn is a classic. Certainly, un Until Dawn, one of my favorite... Uh, horror games. Uh, well, probably my favorite horror game. Also one of my favorite PS4 games. For they have sown the wind, and they shall reap the whirlwind. Hosea 8-7. Every choice has a consequence. How happy is the blameless vessel's lot? The world forgetting by the world forgot. Eternal sunshine of the spotless mind. Each prayer accepted, each wish resigned. Anybody else quoting Alexander Pope or just me? Choose wisely. You got me. Hello. Hello. Hello is the cutest baby. There, I might be. It might not be a baby appropriate uh, game. A little, little bit of violence uh, and gore on this screen. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Just uh, the timing could have been a little bit better. <laughs> All right. 2231 BC. We're hanging out with Asher Bonnie Paul. No! I don't want to die! Silence! Your words are meaningless here. I will turn on subtitles as well. Your sacrifice will lift his curse from Perhaps I immediately. Did you start? I literally just started, like no, half a second ago. <laughs> First memory obtained. <laughs> no. Subtitles all, please. I wish to save the current settings. And then I will put. I, I'm gonna. I'm putting the screen back on. I'm putting the screen back on. Okay. I'm also. You know what? Before we get started here, I'm gonna. Before we get really started, I'm gonna turn up the volume on all of our ends a little bit. It's a little, a little quiet. I think might get a little spooky later, but that's okay. My lord, the king demands your urgent presence. The gods smile on you. For now. Take this one back to the cell. I'll deal with him later. They hadn't invented shirts yet. That's the Your thing. They they had some vests. Luck? No. They had pauldrons. They clearly had aprons. Hats. The hat game was out of control. General, we should leave this place. The king, his madness threatens to swallow us all. Do you promise? This temple. Is cursed. I'd rather die in this cursed house than perish to the plague and famine out there. Beard Never armor? Orders, it's Captain. true, there is some beard armor. This just makes me mad. Like, why does this look nicer than any place that exists in 2021? Look around you. Is this whole not fair? Like, the, the only place on earth that comes to this level of majesty now is that Bass Pro Shops pyramid in Nashville, Tennessee. The good hands are coming, General. The moon god sends an army to destroy us. I shall muster our forces immediately. Good. And what news from below? You mean like down the stairs? Prisoners, my king. Their sacrifice will take time. Time is no longer in our hands. If I was an actual, no like, matter. billionaire, I would live like this. I would just, the it would just be this empty be reception in. hall and then, like, one 60-inch flat-screen TV in the middle. 
Tell me, General. Does she remind you of anyone? My king? Do you not see a hint of your own daughter in her? What age would she have been now? Eighteen. Eighteen? Hmm. What a tragedy this plague has been. Kill her. Um, use R to choose. Reluctant. Shouldn't we My keep king. her alive? Would it not be wise to keep the girl alive? She's an enemy scout. We could learn the Gutian's plans. No. Every drop of blood brings us closer to salvation. She must die. <laughs> oh, okay, QTE. What what button is X on an Xbox controller? Okay, I'm ready. It's not a PlayStation 4 controller. Get there you go. Get owned. I will not kill you with the right analog stick, but with the face buttons, I have no choice. I want you to know I didn't press that. The game forced me to do that. I would not have done that. I would have... I would have offered her some mutual aid. I mean, come on. I, you, you know, though? Don't do it. Yo, but it's gonna be freaking sweet, though. It's gonna, it's gonna be sick. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'd, look, if it had been a gun, I wouldn't have shot, okay? But if they give me the chance to throw a javelin, that's kind of sick. Also, like, excuse me, I don't want my generosity to... <gasps> Uh, you know, reflect poorly on my own population. Hey, this might be a COD, okay? Maybe people are getting up to some torture in a COD. Maybe they're violating some human rights. But you should see what's going on in Assyria right now. Right now, they're making, like, bone pyramids out of, out of people's uh, pelvises and stuff like that. We're, we're better off, I think, you know, just preserving our own safety. That was a sick throw. That was, like... I mean, this this guy could be in the decathlon. Javelin game is goaded. Shot put looks pretty good too. Hey, honestly, like, this is how you find out you were in the wrong line of work. If you get killed by an inmate, who's in the bars of the prison, like... You should have just become, like, an administrator or something. Like, that's just embarrassing. Outplayed, outplayed. <laughs> Where's Ashley Tisdale? I thought Ashley Tisdale was in this game. Is she the that statue? What what is that statue called? Lama Lamasu? Does she play Lamasu? Uh, uh, poppers. <laughs> yeah, that's sick, dude. Man, it's a busy day, huh? Like, for me, maybe I'm just weak, but, like, one execution, I would be like, I gotta go chill for, like, you know, maybe, like, a week. They got a war going on. They got a famine. It's busy. It's a busy time. It is permanent eye damage. I don't think <laughs> I don't think his bronze mask is gonna help him. Oh, here we go. It would be crazy to live in like the twenty two hundreds BC and see a solar eclipse, like you would definitely feel like the world is ending, right? Like, what what would happen after the 10 minutes when the solar eclipse happened? 
Would you just go back to your your life? You'd be like, oh well, anyway. <laughs> Okay. I thought maybe it was John Wick. Oh, you know what? It still could be John Wick. You're not wrong. Dude, why is he using as a weapon the thing that Salt Bay uses to cut the tomahawk steaks in his restaurant? That's a Kopesh? I don't know. I'm, I'm, I've never been a curved swords guy. What is out there? What have you, Arcadian? I mean, an S stock, sure. I can get down with an S stock. But a Kopesh? I don't know. When was the last time you thought about Salt Bay? There was a viral story about an angry diner who went to his restaurant and got hit with like a 30,000 Great British Pound bill. And I just remember reading it and being like, that's insanely expensive, but like, then they showed the receipt, and the receipt had like, 10 bottles of Dom Perignon on it or something like that, and you're like, well, what do you expect? Did we just become best friends? This is your temple. What can we do? There is no way out through the catacomb. Think I should trust you? <laughs> he did ask. He was like, don't let the don't let his foolishness become our ruin. And then I was like, let's get out of here. And he was like, are you serious? You think I trust you? Do care did ask, plus your beard isn't bald. Help me with this. I'm ready. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we don't fail those. We, we do those. Remember at the end of Until Dawn when you had to use the PS4's janky motion detection on the controller? Uh, in order to keep all of your people alive, like your your whole success or failure in the game hinged on the fucked up gyroscope inside of the PS4 controller. Oh, man. hey, probably just the wind. Wait, this you can't be scared of this thing. Look at his height; it's like a little rat. Yeah, 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 yeah. Easy. Bunka, bunka. Bunka, bunka. Bunka, bunka. You got a problem, man. Your your systole and your diastole are like way too close together. He's done it. I'm not a cardiologist, by the way. So now remember, it just said it might switch to Y at some point. So be ready. This is on challenging difficulty. I told you it was just a little rat. Just a rat. Probably Old just a rat. For nothing. They died in vain. For oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And then press and hold RT to pick things up, then tip them over. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. I don't think you're actually scared of, of a little cockroach. Oh, okay. Inspect. 
There may be hidden information. We are cursed by our own actions. Is this the Stanley Cup? Why did your king create the temple? The same story that history has taught us. For gold, for glory, for greed. For England, James? Uh, you know what? Maybe I should have looked around more before going to the Here, big door. Help me with this. <laughs> They're like, if only someone would invent some way you could gain some leverage on a door. Perhaps something you could wrap your fingers around? Alas, science has not advanced to that point yet. You first. It does both. I was here earlier. What is this that adorns you? The history of Gutian. You are guardians fought hard to destroy our people. But mark my words. Our story has just begun. How do we get out of here alive? We help each other. The enemy of my enemy is a friend. George W. Bush, 2005. It doesn't. We we can be trusting because I don't lose quick time events. So like, if he tries to slice my head off, I will merely tap Y three times, follow it up with a simple press of the X button, and then reverse it on him. How many ways into this tomb? We're not alone. Well, obviously. Your best friend is here. Over here. It's a push. It's open. It's a small child. Mm, it's, a, it's, it's, it's a demon. That is a demon. X. Uh, many X's. I'm ready. Nobody's dying on my watch. But a, a, a quick time event from, you know, 4,000 years in the past, it loses some of its weight. Because even if we succeed, they're long dead regardless. It's not like they'd be around right now, like, giving interviews. It's to stand together. No. If we both run, then we both die. Ready your sword. We will we will fight. I'm not gonna betray you just to be a jerk. He hasn't done anything wrong. Owned. Plus, this is just like, it's, this is horror movie methodology, right? The real monster in most horror movies is the monster, but the secondary monster is human nature. So if you find yourself being like, you know, I'm gonna give in to my own greed, or my own fear and craven nature, then you've already lost. You've allowed the monster to turn you into a monster. That being said, this guy is going to get eaten. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> but it was not by mine hand. Oh, uh-oh. Gold C, Gold C2? In this game, your choices matter. Oh, yeah, this is the part where we get DMCA'd. This is the part where you get DMCA'd. So this is where you lower the volume. Because this guy, uh, I remember. He comes in and it's like the house burns down or something like that. I believe the house burns down. Play the Plonk Beach theme. No, it's okay. I'll just, well, <laughs> the Buck Bumble theme song. You just impaled a lady with a sword five minutes ago because it felt good? No. 
I did not impale her. That is from a stationary position. I would say that I lanced her. Um, and it wasn't to, it wasn't just because it felt good. It's because someone told me I couldn't and that someone was me. In my head, I was like, I'm not sure if, if I can make it. So let's give it a try. It hits different with no audio, huh? Is, this is what it's actually like, you know, when you have your AirPods in, you're looking around like listening to Damn, It Feels Good to Be a Gangster by the, the Ghetto Boys. Everybody else just sees this guy walking around like with pure silence. But in his head, he's like, I'm on top of the world right now. How it feels versus how it looks. <laughs> Bro, you need a compass in your own house? That's, this is why we need to raise a, a wealth tax. If you, need a, if you need a compass to get around your own house, you might need a wealth tax. If you got a hat that looks like a chamber pot, you might need... This is Jeff... Jeff Fox, based Jeff Foxworthy. Je after Jeff Foxworthy becomes a guest lecturer at Berkeley. Yes, I'm ready. On the edge of an abyss, your survival depends on the choices you make. They will be as a compass guiding you through the unknown. Will you find the path to salvation? Or be lost in the darkness forever. remember bat boy you won't believe what he looks Let like now plainly. you're about to make some difficult decisions decisions that will affect the lives of others how those decisions play out will become clear over time it's good to see you again you're probably keen to get started sure this is not dally any longer. But As what about the Dillian? I am the curator, the custodian of tales. My purpose is to keep a record of everything you do, every decision or mistake you make. This is my repository. No, oh, no. <laughs> You're telling me he runs a sperm bank? Untold stories, stories about friends and enemies. Loyalty and betrayal, life and death. Understand that I am not here to help you. Although I have been known to bend the rules from time to time. To descend into the unknown alone is extremely brave. Or extremely foolish. I forgot that this is how this guy talks. Perhaps there is more to you than meets the eye. Like, it's, it's a, a mystery, an enigma, and then he's like, maybe you should go left. And then the camera does like a smash cut to the other side of his face. All right. Possible outcomes. I suggest you pay attention to their meaning. It could foreshadow a future best avoided. But alas, the sands of time have run out. We'll meet again soon to see how you fare. Or how you haven't. Yes, okay. <laughs> or not. Perhaps you should have the tuna salad. Mm, oh no, it is George W. Bush. Or the chicken. Odds of a, an actual... George W. Bush cameo, non-zero. You know it's 2003 because those are boot cut. Jason Kolchak, First Lieutenant, U.S. Marine Corps. He's confident. Colonel. Did it say intolerant or insolent? Eric King, rational and insecure. Not particularly. Welcome to Camp Slayer. 
early. Is my meeting room prepared? Is my briefing room prepped? I'm not going to apologize for being early. I took a helicopter, you know, it's not Thanks a you're subway. Ready for your presentation. As soon as we get word from the CEO, you're good to go. You should read this. Oh no, it's Jordan Peterson. Then you hear? There's a new king in the castle. Looks that way. You are? Um. I say nothing because she can introduce herself. Dr. Stokes. Dr. Service. Stokes. First Lieutenant Jason Kolchak. Well, wow. the briefing room? Yo, do you think she's got an Xbox in there? It was the era. Um, excuse me? Is this Ashley Tisdale? I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, I don't think I um, have ever seen a thing that Ashley Tisdale has ever been in. Was she a high school musical? This could be our last time. I, I've never seen high school musical. I've never seen The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. <laughs> I, maybe I saw some Lizzie McGuire as a kid. Not, I mean, I was probably like 15 when it started airing. Phineas and Ferb? I don't even know what the hell that is, man. Rachel King. Colonel King has arrived on base, ma'am. He's en route to the Is this what they meant when they said there's a new king in the castle? Fuck, it's him. This early. Your husband, you mean? Don't you think it's about time you came clean? Put your clothes back on. Straighten up. Hey, Rachel. Rachel. Are you going to tell him about us or what? You and Eric have been apart for a year. Whatever you had, it, it's got to be over. Come on. Um, say, say nothing. I don't always make decisions with my heart. No Sometimes I make decisions okay. in service of the story. I think the story becomes more compelling if we withhold some information rather than pin it Shit. down right away. Do an all silent run. <laughs> it's an idea. I don't I don't mean to be rude. Um did she have like a some jaw surgery? You'll have to excuse the noise and disorder. Like may, maybe like a the base set up. a large like orthodontic implement or mind. something? Only a few weeks ago, Saddam was living it up in here. It's just a brutal <laughs> render. <laughs> nice image. Uh, if only you could see the state of this place now. It makes me smile. <laughs> we got the CIA, we got the Army, the Marines, DIA, the Air Force. Hey, everyone's in the FDA, Everyone BTC, CIA, Twitch TV. Oh, if you'll excuse me. No DMCA, please. I see you, old man. Keep busting out those reps. Hey, you come join me. Maybe I'll teach you a thing or two. Later. We have company. Yeah. It, to be fair, it doesn't take too long to learn how to bench press. It's a, it's a fairly simple maneuver. I can see you just fine from here, thanks. Ignore Corporal Merlin. He likes social skills. I guess every unit has its resident jackass. Sergeant K. There's Lieutenant Colonel Kane. Just taking him down to the briefing room. Yeah, gotta go get prepped. I'll see you in there, Marine. I I understand. So what's his malfunction? Nick ain't been himself lately. We got caught up in a shooting a few weeks back. Civilian ate a bullet. Nick took it hard. Whoa, like... <laughs> oh, they got shot. I was. I think that would mess me up as well. If I watched a dude eat a bullet. On the other hand, you know? This was the era of the Wild Boys with Chris Pontius. They were doing all sorts of crazy stuff. Oh, it's, it's Dan again! Nerd Dan. Dude, let's verbally abuse him a little bit. 
Lieutenant Colonel Eric King. And if I'm not mistaken, Lance Corporal, that makes me your commanding officer. <laughs> shitting me, right? Crap, he's not shitting me. Oh, like, I'm getting the I'm getting the perverse the amount of pleasure from this. Shit. Yeah, that's more like it. <laughs> if I were you, I wouldn't get too comfortable behind that desk. I'm telling you, when the queen bitch finds out about this, she's gonna flip her shit. Uh, that's my wife. That's my wife you're talking about. I had no idea, I'm sorry. Nice work, Hotshot. This is good. We're, we're doing the aliens thing where we're learning a little bit about everybody's personality through the abrasiveness that we're going through right now. There's complicated personal relationships. You get these quiet moments where you build the connection between the squad and then eventually it starts being like, ah, ta -ta 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 -ta, and then you're like, am I going to go back for this person? And you're like, you know, the, you, you build cinematic moments as a result of that. We like to think of it as a term of endearment. I'll tell you, this guy's not long for this world. Tour guide is at the bottom of the power rankings right now. Right. <laughs> True, Borat, the up. movie, has not come out yet. Yeah, dude, the My Wife jokes were not at their peak. What, what were people doing in 2003? That's a good question. We were still kind of into uh, uh, Austin Powers like? back then, for sure. Well, Austin Powers was still po Oh, Halo! Halo was going off. I don't know. I was only nine. Well, I mean, I was only like 14 for most of the year. Like, it's not like that's a huge difference. Like, you're still old. Get over it. Uh oh. Total solar eclipse. Colonel King. Did you have your, your cheeks done? You look this different. Is... Eric, this is my team. And if you want to brief them, you clear it with me first. You know, I mean, we're spouses. You should be amenable. I should have warned you I was moving the briefing forward. That's on me. But things escalated. I had to move fast. I have a duty to my team to stay ahead of the curve. I understand you have a duty given their orders. to your team to self-quarantine as a result of your officer. acute mumps infection. I didn't mean for you to find out like this. Truly. I'm sorry, Rach. Somehow I doubt that very much. This is from Sox Central. It confirms that Lieutenant Colonel King has assumed control of this operation. I'm gonna need access to your network. I'll patch you through. Name? Dr. Uh, Stokes. yes. It's, uh, admin password one, two, three, four. This Stokes. network cost us $800 million to get set up. You found something? Well, you don't be shy. What the fuck is that? Modern art or something? This is footage from the highly classified Kalis program. That's supposed to mean something to me. It's a thermal satellite system that I personally pioneered. Oh, well, I'm impressed. Please, pioneer away. See, every you word like this that you say corporal? costs us like $5,500 in taxpayer break, money. Sir. No harm meant. Very well. Satellite sweeps of the war zone have uncovered what appears to be an underground storage facility. This will, of course, require further investigation, but I strongly suspect where Saddam's chemical weapons are hidden. Who's gonna tell him? Yeah, you, you son of a bitch. CENTCOM has given the green light to raid the facility and seize any weapons on site. Hostilities may be over, but there are holdout groups of Republican Guard all over the country. They could deploy those weapons at any time, so we need to move fast. 
The Army is giving us a ride out there in their helos. On arrival, Lieutenant Kolchak will lead the raid on the facility. Once it's secured, we'll carry out a full weapons inspection. Now listen up. There's been a change of leadership, but Rachel's operational expertise and local knowledge is just as valuable as ever. Source dude, so just trust me. Us, and I want you all to show her the same respect. Any questions? What the fuck we waiting for? I'm ready. That's tribal territory out there, Colonel. Make no mistake. Those people are feral. I take it we're getting their support? Nah. Too many bears can bring them down on us. Is this some kind of Iraq war sitcom? Dude, I've been waiting for one of those to come. There was the United States of Al. The one from the two and a half men guy where, like, the guy's... All right, Afghani translator comes to sure. live with him in America, but I just I I just don't know if the world's ready. Okay, you know what? Give me I'll I'll, I'll request some I'll air request support. For air support to be on standby. Our birds can fly low under the radar. The site is in the Zagros Mountains, so we'll have plenty of ground cover. We go dark until weapons are secured. If we don't break radio sounds within 24 hours. Suncom will mount a rescue Dude, operation. forget subtitles. I need like translations. A lot of shit can go down in 24 hours. I'll quit being a bitch. I'm just saying, that's all. <laughs> this is why we went to war. This is what gets us out of bed every morning. Make no mistake, ladies and gentlemen, this is how we stop Saddam from using these weapons. Be ready in one hour. Dismissed. Clarice, help me stop the equipment. Clarice? It. Really, it, it fires no, you man. up. Gets your patriotic so spirit right. going. I'm getting this tingle down the back of my neck. Oh, sweetie. Look, good rub down will sort that right out, huh? This guy I'm needs serious. therapy. There's, a, he's, he's incapable of, of relating. I get from spending too much time with Eric. Is there anything you can do? I'm going to download the latest... Every knowledge. squad needs one grizzled veteran who's, like, a dick, but then, like, later gets the chance to redeem himself by, you know, sacrificing his life Eric, to delay the demons for, like, five minutes so that the other people can get away. You. You, should know. you say something like, get out of here before I wax you myself. And then he, like, kicks open the... Okay, hold on. Um, this is our big break. Rage. This is it? Everything I've worked on these past years. Back to formula? It's ready. This is the big break we've been waiting for. This isn't about us, Eric. I just want things to go back to the way they were. If we if we get Saddam, if How we get Saddam, will that save our marriage? Things weren't so great between us. We've been through worse. A lot worse. <sighs> Nothing has changed, Eric. You know that. You and I, there is no you and I. It's over. Please, Rach, don't say that. Uh-oh. You're not wearing your wedding ring. I'm not wearing hockey pants. Hey, be careful with that. Oh, shit, sorry. What you got in that box of tricks anyway? <laughs> it's, it's, it's original Xbox with a Duke controller. What is that? Ultraviolet light. We use it to sweep for explosives. Let me have a go. No. How much longer for that download, Clarice? I need it ASAP. It's five minutes ASAP enough for you? Downloading game. Oh my god, five Dude, they got DSL out there. Not the greatest bandwidth. We work with what we have. Can you sign this 1348? Huh? Equipment release form. Can you... Oh, sure. Little does she know she's going to have to answer for that at a congressional hearing in 2013. Yeah, Wait for the download. Speak to the team. Inspect the briefing room. I'm a communicator. I'd like... Well, hold on. Examine me. These are white phosphorus grenades. Okay. Is this what I think it is? WP, sir. Told ya. White phosphorus? It's just for popping smoke. That's all. These are unauthorized. These are unauthorized. 
If we break weapons conventions, then we're just as bad as Saddam. I won't allow them on this mission. This is bullshit. We need all the help we can get. Sergeant K, there seems to be some confusion. That was an order, not a talking point. Loud and clear, Colonel. We won't be taking them on the mission. We all cool? Can we still roll the hollow yeah. points? I am. I'm single-handedly redeeming Operation Iraqi Freedom, okay? We're gonna... One white phosphorus grenade at a time. We're gonna clean this war up. Hello. The heck is that? What the hell do we need this crap for? We need to be mobile. We need to be prepared. The facility is underground, possibly under construction. It's safer this way. Mission accomplished. If you want me to feel safe, you give me some more shooters. So you're my technician. So you're my technician. I've heard about you. I should fucking hope so. I'm here to keep our gear in check. And if any Iraqis pop their heads up, I'll take them clean fucking off. Any? You seem pretty confident, Corporal. If you need any assistance with the climbing gear, I'm here to help. Also, if you need anybody to talk to. Sure, I'll manage, Colonel. Climbing gear. Fucking pencil pusher. This guy, we, we need to reduce his monster energy rations by half at a minimum. His blood pressure is approaching critical embolism levels. Yeah, I, just going to be honest with you, like, congratulations or sorry that happened. I'm not reading all that. Oh, confidential? I'll read all that. <laughs> Whoa, Operation Iraq Survey Group S SCPB Mailman? There's SCPs in this game? Report disappearance of two aid workers named as Eves Pog Am and Marie Vinay. Failed to make contact over and out. And then like I think a cap stepped on their a cat stepped on their keyboard or something. Think we'll bag Chemical Ali at this facility? If he's in the vicinity, we'll get him. <laughs> that almost makes it worth the risk. He keeps the MF and thing on him. Well, you know, I'd still rather be sitting behind a desk. If shit hits the fan, at least we can rely on air support to dig us out. I'm sure it won't come down to that. You seem confident. You seem surprised. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Okay. You guys doing anything? Are you fodder? You're just fodder. Your tax dollars at work, by the way. Okay, let's just inspect this real quick. Sure. You got it under control here? Memorize this. Got it. I think we can still look at the big screen. I'm going to be honest. I have no idea what I'm looking at here. It looks like Coach Klein's playbook from the Waterboy. Yes, this is how we peel off the coverage from the secondary to get Randy Moss open. Okay, I, I thought we've spoken to all of you. Oh, you know what? Just pocket one of these for later. You know, they say if you spin it three times, you're just playing with it. Oh, oh download's done. Download's complete. Let's get to the helos. It's like me downloading the Halo 2 E3 presentation, burning it onto a CD at my grandma's house because she had satellite internet. What? Took me like two hours. Then the damn new Mombasa vertical slice wasn't even in the uh, the game to begin with. I take it you're talking about the skipper. He's a nice guy. Around here, nice don't cut it. 
What do you think of Ben? Like he's got something else on his mind? Okay, chapter one, nobody died. Can I tell you, you know the lieutenant in this game? He reminds me, and, and okay, just one second. Guy from Armageddon. What, this, just give it a sec. Not you, not Billy Bob Thornton, not Bruce Willis. Just give it a sec. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the guy, oh no, the only, the first shot I saw was his mug shot. Okay, the... The actor who is playing the lieutenant has big this guy energy. I can't use his mugshot, man. I don't feel good about that. His eyes are so red. I can't. Uh, maybe, the, maybe this bit has no legs. You know the guy from Armageddon? This, this Netflix movie starring Will Padden. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm looking at. He, he's like a, the lieutenant is a young version of this guy right here. Hold on. You, you hit this button. Show us. I'm, I'm showing you. Will Patton. Downloads. He's got the, they, he was modeled after this guy. 100 percent it's bad the way he talks that's not his mug shot this is from when he worked at nasa no this mug he had a dui apparently his, his eyes are just like they look like mercury <laughs> no i'm not gonna leave it up that's will Patton right there yeah 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 the assistant coach from remember the titans exactly there you go. After that aside, moving on. <laughs> he was arrested for flying the space shuttle under the influence. No joke. I bet it's... I'm not saying it's good, okay? Quite the opposite. What do you think is more dangerous? Driving drunk or flying the space shuttle drunk when you're already in space? Like, don't physics just handle it for It's not like you're going to crash into something. Sure, there could be, like, an emergency or something like that, but... Zane! And a gate! Zane? Uh-oh. Find Zane. Yeah, I guess if you hit the wrong button or something, you could, like, you know, end up spiraling through the cold abyss of space forever, but, like, probably not. Dear Zane, the board has approved your application for admission to Highgate University to read mythology in the 2003-2004 academic year. You've achieved something that nobody in this family has before. I'm so proud of you, Zane. Now go bag that grade love always, Dad. Like, I'm gonna be honest, there's no doubt that Zane is toasted. We all know this already, but like, you're getting a four-year degree in mythology? I'm not trying to be crass, but isn't... I'm, I'm not a, a pure STEM lord, okay? Isn't that the kind of thing you can just like listen to like a podcast and, and handle that? It's like they're not making any more mythology, right? Like, aren't you... Surely you don't... It's more of like an associate sort of thing. Yeah. Yo, a big fan of England. Well, the UK, I guess. Anybody here live in the UK? There's Stonehenge. You see it right there. I don't know what this thing is. It's That's the Wolverhampton Wolves. That's the Irish uh, Banshee. Excuse me, Loch Ness. There it is. There it is, Loch Ness. And, of course, the Green Horse of Glasgow. We're all familiar with the Green Horse of Glasgow. And the Welsh Crocodile croc Beaver. That's in Edinburgh? Whatever. 
Oh no, he's been he's been buying watches again. Yeah, but Hello. Uh, hello, Anna Salim. Salim Garkun, Abu Zain. I forgot. Who was Zain? My. Take the hat off. Well, is, that's not a hat. That's a helmet. Who was in my abnick? Sorry. I was sorry. You never know. You might need it. Uh, I found some stolen goods. No, all is not good. I found the things that I stole and hid them from Zain. Your Lord, this is the same. I told you a hundred times. Zain said that he stole the things and hid me. ايه لا مش عايزين الصيع دول معانا ماي سونز بين ليجلي فوتو كوبينج اند سيلينج ماجرا هيل تكست بوكس انا مش عارف اول ما يدخلوا من الباب تقولي لزين ابوك عارف انت عملت ايه قولي له ابوك غضبان منك اي مين تو بي اونست اي شودنت ا نارت the kid's getting a bachelor's in mythology? Like some kind of side hustle might be exactly what he needs right now. Captain Basri, Ahlan. I'm on this. Is Stanley Tucci? Tabduli is happy. The Adu Gay, Salim. The Adu Gay, Alain Adroati. The Adu. Hey, I found him in the war. He's finished. 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 That is Stanley Tucci. The Tucci. <laughs> you tell, look at the fashion. Look at the fit, man. Okay, you know, got it. Oh, that's where I put that. What about Zayn? I can discipline him for stealing watches later. For now, we're about to stave off the rising tide of imperialism. See it? What did I tell you? That's Will Patton right there. Hey, Marwin, what's your mama and the Bermuda Triangle having come? Well, you're fucking it like. They both swallow Marines. <laughs> <laughs> it's just disgusting, yeah, that's man. That's pretty good, boy. Hey, look, your mama's so nasty. This was what it was like in 2003. Okay, that's pretty good. Well, damn. How long you been sitting on this that? This beep is driving like me crazy, that? man. I got shit ton more of those bad boys lined up. Yeah, that's what your mama said. Oh! You want to take the bullshit and focus on the mission? Hey, only one place I let a woman boss me around like that, all right? That's between the sheets. I'm surprised your mom lets women into your bedroom. Don't want her getting jealous now. Yeah, I'm Rachel. <laughs> you just suggest hey. this guy is fucking his mom? Fuck y'all laughing at. That's, that's a, that's twisted. Okay, Rachel, that's sick. With the CP on four hour interval. <laughs> That's damn disgusting. Are you with me? Yeah, I got it. Contact CP every four hours. All good, buddy? Hey, you okay? Yeah, I'm straight. What's going on in there? Just some shit I gotta work through. Man. You just compartmentalize that. I've got your back. I got your back, Nikki. No matter what. I know it. Make sure you do. Hoorah. Semper Fi. Oh, yeah, Semper Fi. Sorry. Semper Fi? What's that? Some kind of Boy Scout thing? It's a Marine thing. It means always loyal. So what, it's supposed to be lucky? Marines have a boatload of superstitions. 
Hit me with one. All right, check it out. What are your What are your mom and the Bermuda Triangle have in common? Otherwise, you curse the whole team. That's got to be about the stupidest thing I have ever heard. Yeah, well, maybe. But as I see it, why take a chance? Eyes forward at all times. You look backwards in a war zone. It's no wonder you get your ass shot off. Good to go, Marines. What about covering my six? Who's cover? Who's gonna cover my six then? We're gonna succeed. <laughs> Almost as stupid as wearing a choker in war. <laughs> hoorah, hoorah. <laughs> I knew we were get a hoorah. You made me miss the hoorah with the choker comment. Now I gotta restart. You, dude, you can't even wear Crocs into your Chem 101 lab. She's wearing a damn Claire's choker in the middle of, you know, Fallujah. Like, this is crazy talk. <laughs> Hey, Salim, what do your mom and the Bermuda Triangle have in common? Better not catch you looking back. Joey. Excuse me, you literally <laughs> just said <laughs> eyes forward at all times. And I quote, if you look backwards in war, no wonder you're getting your ass shot off. Yo, Chris Evans in Knives Out. The American, the American, go. Sir, we've been made. Do <laughs> you think so? Okay. Fan out and hold your fire. Fan out and hold fire. We're gonna psyops this shit. <laughs> we've been made. The three helicopters came in <laughs> playing loud rock music. Yeah, I didn't know Ashley Tisdale spoke Arabic. Is she actually studied? <laughs> she went to language exchange just for this role. Clear room! Clear! Compound is secure. Prisoners are playing ball. Hey, yo, I got next. Get Corporal Merwin to pop yellow smoke at the LZ and bring in the Colonel. Look at that, you got Sir, those scumbags. Place. These people are not the enemy, they're just shepherds. <laughs> you got those two farmers just chilling at their house. <laughs> Lieutenant Kolchak, sit rep if you will. No shots fired, sir. No casualties. Farm is secure and we're processing captives. Captives? Have you located an entrance to the underground silo? Negative, sir. If there is one, it's well camouflaged. If there is one. What does that mean, Lieutenant? Um, say nothing. I say nothing? And you read my mind. That went smoothly. You think? You got the place locked down tighter than the virgin. Do not finish that sentence, Corporal. Are they ready for questioning? Yeah, just don't ask them any tough physics questions. Let's go. I don't even understand what that's. I think sure. it's rude, but I don't really understand so what it means. I'd be pretty pissed off if three helicopters oh, okay. landed on my house, forced me to lay face down in the sand, guys. and then they started asking right me right tough physics questions. Oh, yeah. Seems perfectly What's reasonable. This, uh, women's intuition I keep hearing about. Yeah, you want to find out what happens when you piss it off? Big pill. Just gonna pat you down. Assalamu alaikum, ya akhi. Come on. You have to say the truth. Then 
It's like me when I go to the family Chusak. You know, they're like, you know, we'll let you say it, but, you know, come on. Uh, any orders, ma'am? Any orders, ma'am? This, this is me when I'm wearing the hanbok for my Stand daughter's by. first year photos. <laughs> I'm like, me too! Annyeong <laughs> haseyo, everyone! Whoa, 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 whoa! 